Since the late 70s, the addition of flight management computers has lessened the workload of flight crew and has removed the need for engineers and navigators. But did you know that the vast majority of these computers would be outperformed by even the simplest of modern smartphones? The Flight Management Computer, or FMC, is an essential part of modern airliners. In tandem with its regularly updated databases, this hardware integrates the vast majority of the systems and processes necessary to fly, automating a lot of the in-flight tasks to reduce the burden on the flight crew. The computer works with a control display unit, the combination of which is known as the Flight Management System, or FMS. This system manages the flight plan using GPS and navigation systems to determine the aircraft's position. The first real FMS was introduced on the Boeing 767, although there had been some other navigational computers around before that. Today, these computer systems are used on aircraft of all shapes and sizes, from the giant A380 down to the Cessna 182. The thing about these computers is that they were designed quite some time ago, in an age when having a computer at home was a rarity. Despite the rest of the world moving on somewhat, aviation for the most part is still very much in the dark ages. After the development of the 757 and 767, Boeing turned its attention to the 737. Working with Smith's Aerospace, now GE Aviation, Boeing developed an FMC as part of a complete update of the 737, producing the 737-300, which was certified in 1984. At this time, the FMC had a 96,000-word navigation database on board, with each word representing two bytes, giving that first 737 a memory of just under 200 kilobytes. Subsequent updates increased this to 192,000 words in 1988, 288,000 in 1990, and then to a million in 1992. This means that the very latest of the classic series would have sported an onboard memory of 2 megabytes. By the 90s, technology in home and business computing had moved on. You would think that with all the technological advancements during this decade, the FMC would move on a great deal. Sadly, it did not. The Boeing 737NG released with a capacity of 4 million words, or 8 megabytes. With such a small capacity, aircraft had to regularly have their databases manually updated, often using flash drives or even floppy disks. Today, the most modern flight management systems come with much more capacity. Still, there are only a limited number of aircraft that have been updated, with many, many aircraft still functioning on some very 90s technology. Of the Boeing 737NG, it's estimated that around 6,000 remain in active service, although some are currently stored. Research indicates that these mostly fly with either 8 or 16 megabytes on board. The 60 or so 737-200s that are still alive are likely flying with no more than 400 kilobytes of memory. Some Airbus A320s, though still on the Thales MFS-1, have a capacity of around 400 kilobytes on board. Others in the fleet will have the FMS-2, which ranges from 5 to 7 megabytes in capacity. Other aircraft with notably smaller brains include the 757 and 767, of which models are flying with between 400 kilobytes and 4 megabytes of storage. A handful have been upgraded to the Honeywell Pegasus 2009 FMS, which boasts 7.5 megabytes of storage. As for the most modern 747, the 747-8, it has an impressive 100 megabytes of memory in its FMS. However, for older 747s, it's estimated that there are, or were, around 97 Boeing 747-400s currently flying with 2 megabytes or less in memory. Undoubtedly, for most of you watching this video, this will be a tiny fraction of the smartphone memory sitting in your pocket every day. Are you surprised by how little memory an aircraft has? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.